We are going to sketch a possible graph for the function f so that it satisfies these six conditions. The first one says the limit as x approaching the zero negative, f of x, and we have 2. What this means is, when x is approaching the zero from the left hand side, the y value of the function is approaching to 2. So here's a quick way to do this kind of question. Because whenever we're trying to do the limit, you see x is approaching to zero negative, but this doesn't mean x is exactly equal to zero. In fact, this right here, x is never the same as these values, but it's just about to be. What we can do is, we can use open circles, we can locate an open circle, for example, this one, when x is about to be 0, y is about to be 2. Use an open circle at 0, 2, right here. Just indicate this open circle first. And then, we are going to start from the left hand side of 0, and it doesn't really matter how the graph should look like. I can start a graph up here, or right here, or down here, doesn't matter. It has no restriction on that. So let me just say, I want to start a graph right here, and then I'm just going to go hit the open circle. That's all, right? You see, when the graph is approaching to x is equal to zero from left hand side, the y value is approaching to two, but then it's never zero comma two, based on this statement. I don't know what will happen later on. But just based on this statement, we only we will only have an open circle for that. All right, let's do this one. You see, we have a limit statement. X is approaching to zero plus, and then the y value is zero. So let me put down zero zero with an open circle like that. And then I'm gonna start somewhere from the right hand side. So let me just say somewhere right here, and you know, just right here. And I'm just going to draw my graph whichever way I want. But then I need to make sure that the graph hits this open circle like that. I'm not sure if I need to fill in this open circle or not. I don't know yet. Based on this, I only have an open circle. And now let's do this one. We have x approaching to 4, negative, and 3. So let's label an open circle at 4, 3. 4, 3 is right here. Let me open a circle right there. And then we are starting from the left hand side. So I can pick up from this piece right here. And then I can draw whichever way I want for the graph. But as long as I hit this open circle, that will be good. Next one, 4 and 0. What's an open circle, right? So this is x equal to 4 and y is equal to 0, so it's right here. But then I have to start somewhere on the right hand side of 4. So let me just say start somewhere right here. And I'm just going to draw my graph whichever way I want, but I need to make sure my graph hits this open circle. So, based on this four limit statements, this is the graph that we have. And now, let's see. This is f of 0 is equal to 2. Now we are talking about serious business. Because when we have this statement, this is x is exactly equal to 0, and the y value is exactly equal to 2. We will have a solid point right there at 0, 2. And you see, this is x equal to 0, y is equal to 2. We have to fill in this open circle now, based on this statement. So I'm just going to fill this in right here. And then for this statement, f of 4 is equal to 1, that tells us that when x is equal to exactly 4, the y value is exactly 1. So I'm going to go 4, 1, and I'm going to put down a solid dot. But then this dot is neither this open circle, that open circle, so these two open circles remain to be open. And with this right here, it concludes all these six conditions. That's it.